What's up everyone? I'm Tim and this is my channel 40 Times Around where we talk about everything related to motorcycles, travel, camping, and adventure. Today we're going to talk about the difference between maps and GPS and which one I think is better. So stay tuned. Alright, so let's start with the GPS. One of the advantages of a GPS is the whole set it and forget it kind of thing. If you can just start in the morning, plot out your route, have the whole thing set for you, and then just relax, enjoy the ride. You don't have to think about stopping to read a map or remembering that you have to take a left turn in 30 miles or whatever the case may be. It's just that set it and forget it, relax and enjoy the ride set up with this. One thing to keep in mind as a downside is that these are not always reliable. I've had issues where they're just not fast enough so you miss a turn, you have to turn around and then as you're turning around it has to reroute and that takes a minute so it's like just not keeping up with how fast you're riding and that can be really annoying, really frustrating. Now it kind of strikes me that there's not much creativity involved with the GPS. Typically when you're plotting your route everything's really zoomed in and it just kind of it picks the most direct route. Now, of course, there's some GPSs that have, you know, um, different settings like avoid highways or more scenic route, whatever the case may be, especially if they're set up specifically for motorcycles, they typically have scenic routes and things like that. Um, you can avoid highways, tolls. But there isn't a ton of creativity with this. Turn it on, you set your location, and you're off and running. Another advantage, however, is that this can be a very useful tool for making predictions. Now, some of them will actually include weather, like a weather radar on them, which is great. I mean, you can see, hey, there's a storm up ahead. I might want to think about rerouting before I get any closer. Um, they'll sometimes even have traffic conditions. Another great thing you want to avoid is as early as you possibly can. But also, what I'll do with the GPS is Sometimes if I'm on a really twisty road and maybe the signs aren't great, they're not telling me, you know, hey, there's a blind curve up here or there's a, you know, really gnarly switchback. Just having this on my, on my dashboard will clue me in that like, hey, I can see this road's about to take a really sharp turn, so let me prepare for that. It's a nice advantage to have, something I don't think everybody necessarily considers when they're thinking about a GPS. And the final thought on GPS is actually a huge advantage and I would say if you are planning on doing any kind of city driving in a city you've never been in you're probably going to want one of these. It makes the whole situation so much safer and you can focus on the traffic and the situation at hand and not be concerned with thinking about oh I make a left and two rights and another left and and you know having to be thinking about that on top of thinking oh my god there's a taxi cab six inches from me and he's coming into my lane and there's people over here jaywalking and, and all of this craziness. You can pay attention to that stuff and not have to worry about where you're going. So for me, I see that as a really huge advantage if you're driving around in a city. All right guys, now let's talk about maps. All right, so maps. Number one, they're 100% reliable. You don't have to worry about this braking. Uh, like you, you might have to worry about with a GPS or malfunctioning, just not working in general. There's no batteries for this, so it always is going to work, assuming it doesn't get wet and destroyed. Now, also, I find there to be a really big sense of adventure with using maps and navigating on maps. For one, there's a challenging aspect to it. Um, there's some thinking involved, and that to me just adds to the adventure and also, you're more likely to get lost, to take a wrong turn, stumble upon something amazing, incredible, some town you weren't planning on visiting that you just happened upon because you took the wrong turn. Um, that's a huge advantage in my opinion. Um, it's not always so important to know where you're going. Sometimes it is, but not always. So sometimes you want that extra challenge of, you know, possibly missing your turn, finding something interesting. A good advantage. One thing I really like about this is the creativity aspect. Now when you're looking at a map it's a lot different than a GPS where on a GPS you're automatically zoomed in. On a map you get this whole scope of the area you're in. So you see all of your options in one shot and you're able to pick and choose and get creative with your route and, and think like 
oh, there's a river over here. Maybe I want to take this road that runs next to it. And then, and then I'm going to come over here and visit this town and do this. And there's just a lot more thinking involved in it. Um, there's a lot more focus on route as opposed to destination. So that's one reason I'm a big fan of maps. However, these can sometimes be frustrating. That is kind of the reverse side of what I just said, that sometimes you wanna just get to where you're going and you don't wanna to have to think so much and maybe you're tired or maybe you keep forgetting, you know, what's the turn I'm supposed to take and you have to pull over and get the map out and it's big, it's, it's obnoxious. You know, you have to fold it back up and, and that can be kind of annoying. Uh, side note, sometimes I will Actually, not sometimes. Usually, I'll have my tank bag on here for long trips, and I'll take just the section of map that I'm working with. Um, say it was even just, you know, this section right here. And I would just have this in my tank bag right here, so I don't necessarily have to take it out, fold out the whole thing, and I can just work with that for the day. But they can be a little frustrating. There's definitely an aspect of, of extra work that sometimes you don't always want. Now another advantage to navigating on maps is that, like I mentioned earlier, you have the entire scope, which is great because you may see something on the map, maybe a couple miles off of what your route is, and realize like, wow, I really wanna go see that. Whereas if you're working with a GPS, it's gonna just shoot you right past it, and you're not gonna know it's there if there isn't a sign for it on the road. So that's a big advantage. You're less likely to miss sites and things, attractions, things you want to see. So that about wraps up the pros and cons of the two. But here's my opinion on the choice between the two. I think you should take them both. I think they both have their strengths and I think they work hand in hand so well together. A lot of times what I'll actually do is use the map in the morning and decide, okay, I want to take this road from here to here. So I'm going to set the GPS to do that. And then I'm look at the map and say, okay, then I'm going to turn left here. But, but when I put it in the GPS, I want to get from here to there. It just takes me in a straight line. So I'll say from here to this town, which is halfway, and then I want to take a left. And then I'll get the map back out. In other words, using the two together is a huge advantage. And I think that's your best bet when you're on a big motorcycle trip. Like I said, too, if you're just using maps, you're kind of limiting yourself to being able to go check out a new city if you're intimidated by having to navigate based on the memory of the map while you're navigating a city. Um, so yeah, I think using both of them gets you the best of both worlds. You don't miss out on anything. You have the safety and convenience of a GPS, but you're also never stuck because you have the 100% reliability of a map. So that's it. That's my opinion on Maps First GPS. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Question of the day, guys. What is your preference between these two, GPS and a map? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Where the f*** are we?